All good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. What is up and what's happening, Captain? Show us the most Paul can too, and I'm a vloggity of vlogging it up today with a brand new video. Now, today's video is gonna be weird. I'm gonna go to a bunch of different places, potentially do a bunch of different things, and we'll see how it all comes together. But first and foremost, I'm gonna hit an estate sale, see what's going on. I saw some furniture that I think that I think will look good in my house. So I'm gonna pull up and see if they got that. Maybe we'll have some clothes, maybe we'll do an unboxing. We'll see what shall unfold today. But without further ado, let's get it. All right guys, I just pulled up to the estate sale. There's a squirrel beefing with me, a dog barking and a huge line. I have one thing that I really want. This line is so deep, it's insane. So we'll see if I actually even get in the house in time due to you know the COVID regulations to even find something. I venture to say I probably won't, but we'll see regardless. Oh yeah guys, we're in the building, in the bedroom, but it's only right that I come out the closet to kick off the video. Okay, I found one cool thing, vintage Baylor snapback. And dude, the Christmas sweater section is on absolute lock. I mean, look at this dude just distributing presents. Young Santa, oh my God, that girl looks creeped out. <laughs> then you got the teddy bear with the raccoon, homie. That's nice. nice. Um, we're gonna see what else is in this house. I really like this little piece of interior decor though. They have the Canada Dry. What is that? Is that like an alcoholic beverage? Or is this just like a, is this just like a little case right here? But I mean, that's a cool little bookcase. And you can also put apples or liquor in there as well. Winning. Oh man, the comfort game is crazy. Look at this, Americana, the US of A, encrusted with bears. You got balloons, you got bears everywhere in this house, including on the Halloween pumpkin bear jack-o-lantern collab this looks handmade <laughs> that's hilarious also got some short shorts these are awesome man show off the kneecaps in style california shores yes show off some upper thigh as well got the green renditions <laughs> and you got the blue and what will match those we're building full estate sale fits <laughs> bruh the curves 30 minute weight loss center Bruh, come on, you guys just imagine me in this. Better yet, maybe I'll just throw it on for you. Dude, this guy looks just like my cousin. Hey, look at the early 2000s Nike tee though. And the chain, sway. All right, so unfortunately the thing I came here for sold, which was a chair. I've been needing a chair for my office for the longest and I want an old school one. But regardless, we found some chrome in here. I love these old school fans. This has like a monochromatic, dark, kind of fecal matter brown colorway with the chrome. It looks amazing. I need one of these for my brown room. It'll look really cool in there. It's 15, so I'm gonna nab it. Dad nab it, that's perfect. perfect. Damn. I think I need this. All right, so I was sorely mistaken. The chair I came in here looking for is actually here with the authentic, evidently squirrel bite mark taken out of it. Nice little chunk of handle. There's a squirrel beefing with me. Slight little rip right there looking like a 20 bucks. I might. Hey, but the couches? The couches go crazy. Navajo patterns? And then the Grizzly collection? Oh, wow. This is outlandish, this is too much. It's like Easter came early this year. Look at these dudes, man. Wow. All right, class, we're out of that estate sale and it definitely hit, all right? Check it out, you got the Canada Dry. Look at that, look at that crate action. Oh my God, the green, the yellow. I don't know why I was saying, I don't know what I was thinking these were like apple crates. Canada Dry is ginger ale, not just ginger ale. The champagne of ginger ale. And then uh, I found this Tinker Toy little ting up in there as well. I used to play with these as a kid at my granny's house. She had those old school toys and these are definitely fun. Very reminiscent of my childhood. And then I grabbed that blade 
as well just because everyone needs a pocket knife you know i'm fan just in case i gotta cut up somebody and then this is a really cool little button that i grabbed as well or pin it says good girls go to heaven bad girls go everywhere ah! uh but yeah so i'm gonna go in and get the other one of these that i grabbed and also i am going to grab the fan as well but the estate sale smacked Woo -wee! all right guys so we're out of there Got uh, my little pups in the back, my little babies, my purchases. Man, that estate sale definitely hit. I want to shout out Two Moms Estate Sales. Um, no, this is not sponsored, but, you know, just want to show love when love is shown. And shout out Steven as well, the shiniest head in the estate sale game. And that's just facts. Undisputed champion of reflection. That's what's up. No, man, I really appreciate you guys. And, uh, yeah, now we're going to proceed to maybe another one or maybe a thrift. Or maybe my house? Either way, you guys will see in a sec. All right, guys, so we are at the next spot, which is a thrift store. I told y'all, this is gonna be the ultimate collab of a video. A lot of things are gonna be happening. And uh, speaking of which, I just wanna shout out all you guys who have dropped the comments, who watched the last video I did upload. <laughs> you guys are pretty hilarious in this section of comments. So I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, let's we'll see what they got in the thrift. Oh my God. Okay, so we're in here and we have the predator versus prey dynamic. You got my alma mater, the little high school Lamar Cougars tee. Um, today I am dropping a tribute with vintage clothes from my high school. So you guys check that out on the IG. But look at this. This is what I'm talking about. You had the Predator and now you got the Prey. You have the Stuart Little 2 promo tee. This little rat is straight up ollieing out of this atmosphere. 2002, this summer a little goes a long way. Bruh, what a banger. <laughs> this is so fire, man. Of course I gotta grab that, dude. Shout out Big Stu, Young Stewart, Little, huh? The original Ratatouille. All right, let's see what else they got, bruh. Oh, how insulting, dude. How insulting. I hate to see this in the thrift, bro. They have a perfectly valid fire Lion King double-sided tee, but somebody went ahead and made the executive decision to reveal some midriff by cropping this. Don't nobody want to see that nasty ass black hole of a belly button, bruh. Wild. Wild. Alrighty guys, we're out of there, dude. That store was dry as hell, despite it being a wet day. But I am super excited that I did find the Stuart Little T. Bruh, this shirt goes so crazy. Y'all already know, man. It almost is 20 years old. That's wild. All right, we walked in the house just to walk right back out, but I did find some things. I found these uh, crazy like teched out neon gloves, which number one, just swag. Number two, T-Rex. That's like Jurassic Park status, obviously. And then they're super protective. I just wanted these for the garden. Then I looked them up just to see the value and I saw someone listed a pair of these for 120 bucks. Trippy. New ones are like $20 by any means, but I just grabbed them because they look cool and they're going to be functional whilst Paul Plan 2 gets it. Someone asked what, what's up with that channel. Bruh, it's hard to run one channel, let alone two of them. And then um, I got all these knobs, so schlob on my unique knob. So yes, I am going to be building a lot more furniture and things of that nature. So I'm wanting to grab some really unique uh, pieces and i got everything for like 12 bucks just got an hdmi because i need it and that's it dude this was another sale man that started yesterday so it got ransacked um pillaged but you know i found a couple slight tings nothing crazy but hey man we're just depicting real life out here guys we're just documenting what it's like in these suburban trenches all right okay Woo! Okay guys, so after that estate sale snafu, I figured I'd go to one more thrift store. I don't know, I might, I might hit up more, but at least one more right now and see what's up. And that's Goodwill. Let's just hop in there real quick and see if they got any sh All right guys, we're live in the building. And check out the sneakers, bro. The Tommy Fuyamami $10 New Balance straight bootlegs via Mr. Thomas Hilfiger himself. These are pretty nice, man. Size 10, and then check out these jerseys. I mean, there's not much in this store, but I love myself 
some 90s essential jerseys in crazy patterns and colorways. This is looking like the interior of a Hot Cheetos bag, man. And that's just facts. There's no other way to cut it. These are beautimous. Aquaberry vibes? Delicious. I might get them. We'll see. All right, guys, we're up out of the, we're up out of the store. I grabbed the two 90s soccer jerseys. Bro, you cannot get better long sleeve like goalie equipment than at the thrift. These are the old um, AYSO. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? I'm gonna say that's the Association of Youth Soccer Organization. <laughs> I don't know if that's what that stands for, but that sounded right. It sounded very profesh. But yeah, I got the hot Cheeto variety. And then of course I had to get the little blue striped dude as well. I mean, whether you play soccer or not, these jerseys are just super clean to rock, 90s vibes, and yeah, they're available. First time vintage.com. That's where you guys can buy any vintage clothes. Dude, I feel like I give good ass deals on there, so definitely it's worth checking out if you guys want anything. And a lot of people want stuff posted same day as the video. That's a little hard because I gotta wash the clothes, process them, take pictures then upload them to the website on a nice day. So yeah, I mean, just bear with me a little bit and we will have product up expeditiously. But without further ado, I guess we're going home right now. And all right guys, we're back in the house right now. Shout out my pup, big boy Ranger. Yeah, looking at the people. Anyways, I'm gonna show y'all some of the things that I think I'm gonna do with the items that I purchased. You guys can see you got the cannon to dry and I use these crates to house plants. They cover up the pots and look really cool, such as this one that I have going on right here. So that's nice, but I also think that I am going to utilize the Canada Dry Crates, potentially in this like barren spot somewhere. I'm gonna build some shelves and do some things, but it does go with the overall colorway of this area, as does the fan. I don't know if the fan is going to actually stay over here or what, but my grandpa had one of these. He's not in the best shape right now. So just grabbing little pieces that remind me of my grandpa, my grandma's house, really mean something special to me. So that's why I grabbed that fan and it's cool too. So you guys already know. Now I did stop by Salvation Army yesterday and grabbed a couple of things that I wanna show y'all real quick. So brace yourselves. All right, splendid darling. So in this bag, we have a few purchases that I made yesterday, as I mentioned, and uh, they're bangers, dude. Didn't have my camera on me, I just slid through. Look at this, vintage Nike windbreaker, navy, forest green, white, on the Nike white tag. I mean, you guys just, just take a glance at that. Hey, focus camera, what you doing? This thing was a fireball. I also found a Houston Astros Majestic jersey right here that is so scrum diddly umptious, how could I not? And then this piece really tickled my fancy to say the least. I found this Nautica red, white, and blue windbreaker with the Natika all embroidered going down the sleeve. I had to get it and it has the little boat, sailboat on the other sleeve. And then the Elephantis, man. The animals that never forget. You have this cool little vintage elephant signal sports tank top that is double sided with the alien, alien elephant booty on the back. Now, while I have you guys' attention, I do want to try out this a brand new um, used knife that I did purchase. Gotta be careful with that dude. At the estate sale, just to do a quick little snap bag unboxing. I did the dedicated unboxing the majority of my audience didn't really watch that. I'd say like half did. So I think I'm just gonna do little unboxings here and there in normal videos, just so anyone who made it to this point, number one, thank you, number two, can be graced by a couple of purchases that I have made. So let's see what's in here. Fire, dude. Look at this. Wild, rough, rugged, and raw. You have this bear hat. The bear is all embroidered. Dude, this knife is so close to my eye. That could have been catastrophic, but this is a fire piece. It actually ties in with that last estate sale because uh, that lady was like obsessed with bears. So we have one in rare hat form in the building. So yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. I just go to estate sales to find stuff for the house predominantly because I don't really want my house looking like an Ikea. 
No offense to any of you guys who shop at Ikea, but you can find stuff for really cheap at thrift stores, estate sales, and garage sales to decorate your house with, which is the type of stuff I'm on. I don't really resell furniture or anything aside from clothes like that. So again, if you guys wanna buy clothes, thriftandvintage.com. And uh, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. I had fun making it, getting out there, exploring all of that. A bunch of drops are coming this weekend, so stay tuned. And until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream. I'm locked, I'm loaded, and I'm out. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.